So, how's it going? I haven't been out for a while now, a couple of weeks, because I've just been working so much and it's uh, really annoying, but I haven't been able to get out and shoot for a while now, which I hate, but um, just getting loads of work done at the moment to organize another trip. But what I have done is I've put together the ultimate vlogging setup on the planet right now, I believe, in my opinion. Now, I tried vlogging when I was in Scotland and I, did a, I got a lot of footage done. I was using my iPhone and I have to say, let's just change that filter. I have to say, it's no good using an iPhone to vlog. It was just so annoying, like taking the microphone out every time I got a phone call, every time I wanted to use the sat nav, I had to take apart the phone again with the external mic and it was just driving me crazy. So I needed to find a solution that was more hands-on and quick and this is it. And it's the Canon M50. Now, I got the body secondhand, dead cheap on eBay. I waited a while for it, actually a few months. And it finally arrived that there was someone selling one for dead cheap because of a few cosmetic damages on it. So I got that really cheap. Now, the kit lens that comes with the M50 is a 15 to 45 mil kit lens. I think it's f4 to f5.6. It's not a very bright lens. So really what you want to do is get rid of the kit lens straight away and invest in what I've got. And that is the Canon 22 mil f.2. And it's called a pancake lens. And boy, does this thing let in a lot of light. It is superb. And what I do have on it is a neutral density filter, a variable, so I can adjust on the go my exposure. Now, this lens is super sharp. And what it does is called a Canon 22mm pancake lens. And what it does is it has an extreme bokeh, a beautiful bokeh. And what that adds to the shot is this blurred background behind me. So it really makes me stand out of the frame. And that's what you want for vlogging and portrait photos. You that real nice natural blurred background, which is called bokeh. Now, being an F2 lens, this is letting in so much light. It really, and the lens again was a cheap lens. I got that second hand. Few cosmetic damages on it that don't impair the glass and I got it for 100 quid, it's 250 pound lens. Now this is a professional vlogging setup now. Now at 22 mil, there is a bit of crop. I have to hold my arm out to get me in the full shot, which isn't a problem. It's a, uh, you know, it's not a super wide angle lens, but with a little bit of work and practice, you can easily get yourself in the frame and framed nicely, easily enough. So I'm happy to work with that. Now, what's great about this lens now is in low light situations. And what I had with the iPhone, now don't get me wrong, smartphones, iPhones, their video has come on so far now with their technology. It is really impressive, the 4K you get out of a phone, but I found when I was vlogging, it only really looked impressive when it was fully sunny, overhead sun. As soon as the light started to dim, you started to get really strange problems happening because the phone is imitating a denoise system in it. It's all digital, digital stabilization, everything. So as soon as you start getting dim conditions, like now is what I'd call dim condition, you start getting all these strange little problems appearing with an iPhone. And it's just not professional. It doesn't look professional on vlogging. It's, um, it's just, it, it's, it hasn't got much to work with either, bit depth. So you can't color grade iPhone footage. So I had to get away from the iPhone because I didn't want to waste too much time making too much footage. I'm going to release them vlogs. They look fine, but I had to get to something more professional quick. And this is the answer the Canon M50. And what this has is what they call an M mount. So the lenses are tiny, whereas my EOS R 
they are R mounts and they're huge. So this is a tiny little compact camera that is so light and easy to work with, a flip out screen so you can see yourself. And the focus, like always with Canon, is flawless. It takes a second just to bring it in focus, but that is super sharp and super quick. Now, the other thing with choosing the lens to vlog with, there's so many little things you don't think about, right? Is that you don't want an auto focus system on your lens that makes noise. And this is the problem we had with my EOS R when I was trying to vlog with that, is it's constantly making these z -z 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 alteration noises as the engine zooms in for the focus. Well, that just destroys your audio. This lens is super smooth and super quiet. You can't hear it. I can't even hear it adjust. I can see it adjusting. So that is awesome. That has solved so many little problems already. And um, I just, in my opinion, this is the ultimate vlogging camera. And it makes my skin look smooth so I don't look all blemished like I do in reality. You know, it, it makes you look a bit better than what you do in reality, which I like. I like that with the iPhone because you don't want to see all my spots and boils and all my sore lips and chapped lips and makeup and my eyeliner. You don't want to see all that. You want to see a smoothed out Hollywood smile, right? Yeah. So I'm mega happy and I'm so excited because this is also the ultimate B-roll camera. So just as much as it's good with vlogging, it's also the ultimate B-roll camera. So it's an all-in-one. Now this is going to be my camera now for everything footage wise, everything video wise, this is the one. And with the ND variable, you know, I can control that light on the go. So I'm at F2 now, so that's giving you a nice background blur. You can really see it better when you're in confined spaces like walking through the woods, you'll really see how much it blurs that background out. But it's just a beautiful sharp lens, I love it. And it's just giving me inspiration now to go out and start doing B-roll because I've been concentrating with my photography for many years now and put aside the kind of vlogging and the B-roll. But now you really need to incorporate all of that really in this world today. You can't just be a photographer. You need to be doing the vlogs. You need to be doing everything as much as you can. And the drone footage is now my equal counterpart to the photography. Now I want to get the vlogging in. I want all three to be equally as quality and equally as good. I think the photos out of everything I do is the best because I've spent the most time on doing that so far. So it's just a learning curve. It's just a game, you know, it's all, it's all coming together now. But this has given me massive inspiration now because uh, this is just really cool. And it's um, going to help me no end with the vlogging for the next trip. So I'm excited. Um, I have the Rode Wireless Go mic, so that's giving you a half decent clear sound. Uh, probably a big external mic on the top would do better, but I just like having the wireless set up. I've got it under here. So that's, uh, you know, I can put this down like so. I can lay this camera down, angle it up, and I can be vlogging standing away from the camera and it's still clear because it's a wireless setup so it's the ultimate i'm very happy and uh yeah i need to spend a lot of time with this now and get used to it i'm just doing a battery test now I've done about nine minutes worth of footage so we'll do a little tiny bit of b-roll so yeah very happy is there anything else i want to add to that Right, now, another thing I wanted to say is that uh, another big thing with lenses and B-roll and footage is parallax. Now, I do a lot of that with my drone work now, while I'm trying to do more of it. And what that is, it is a kind of zoomed in crop. But what it does is it compresses the whole scene. So mountains look like, look like they're close together and they move very fast as the movement of the camera especially if a drone flies up over the mountains there's a, a movement happening with all the mountains it's called parallax and that's another thing 
that I want to be doing more of with the drone and other things is that motion and it's um, it's in incredibly cinematic and then you've got anamorphic lenses where they create these lens flares and it's a kind of super widescreen put into vertical compression and uh, you can get anamorphic bokeh too so you've got the real blurred background and the super long lens flares along the front of your screen and uh, that's also very used in Hollywood and very cinematic so combining all them three parallax anamorphic lenses and bokeh in your um, b-roll is going to considerably make something look way more professional so that's the goal so I'm very happy with this see now right on the go I can open up the ND filter letting a bit more light on my f2 so it's super clear uh, ISO 100 160 160th of a second because I'm at a frame rate of 25 now so you want to double your um, shutter speed whatever frame rate you're at you want to double your shutter speed of what that is now the other thing with this is shooting 4k is pretty useless on this camera because as soon as you go into 4k you're cropping and it's literally like here so it's no good for the 4k but 1080 has still got huge depth and room to work with and color grade so there's no problem with working with 1080 and that in fact there's a lot of people that swear by 1080 over 4k just because of its far more easy to use the files are smaller but you're still getting a lot of information in there so you can still color grade 1080 really well but yeah it's a beautiful evening i'm very happy with the new setup it's the ultimate vlogging setup in my opinion in 2020 so yeah over and out